do ba do 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 sharky breath. He plays video games. Hi there. Welcome back to Hylix. I am in a place that seems rather hostile. I, hang on a second. Let me get a look at the map again. Okay, right. This building here. I came from... I came from over here? Question mark? I feel like I was just wandering around really, really fast at the end of last episode, and I kind of lost track of what was going on. But in any case, yeah, there's a tower here. I don't know what its deal is. This is on the other end of that warp, though. I suppose I'm expecting that somewhere in here there'll be a way to open up the gate back by my house? Wait, this is where I came from, isn't it? Isn't this where I... Yes, I did come from here. Okay, so I haven't crossed the bridge yet. I climbed up that ladder and I wound up at the tower I was at. Okay, 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 okay. That's all fine. And yes, I remember that I have a... Oh, yes, I should, I should probably have a look at that real quick. I have a paper cup, right? I have a paper cup. Okay, this is exactly the same as the previous paper cup. I just wanted to make sure it was. It has the vegetal motifs on it. So yes, it's exactly the same. If nothing else, I can always get myself some more will when I die next. Um, I assume these guys are hostile because they appear to be patrolling. But, uh, perhaps I should interact with one of them just to make absolutely certain that they're not just locals. Yeah, they're absolutely not just locals. Okay, so what do we got? Malign holograms and guards, akin to the one that I destroyed out by that, um, Oh, wow, hey, check it out. In the middle of the guard's f two handles on his head, there's a little frowny face in the mush above where his face should be. So apparently it does have a face up there. That's awful. That's awful. Okay, so why don't we just start out with hypnosigils as usual, because it seems like putting people to sleep is a good place to start. And why don't we have Dedes Mole go ahead and calibrate himself? Himself? Well, Wayne's the one with the axe. And Dedismul can calibrate Wayne, so let's have Des Dedismul calibrate Wayne. Since Dedismul, of course, is unfortunately hanging around in a bell the entire time because I put a bell on him, and now that's what he's wearing all the time. Not much to do about it. Okay, 15 damage, that's perfectly reasonable. Now, Wayne, I want you to hit that Malan hologram as hard as you possibly can. Dedismul, you do it. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, it calibrated itself, but it's also died, so that's okay. All right, and the guard's asleep, so let's just go ahead and pummel the guard. Wayne's mightiness actually lasted two turns. Interesting. Wayne stayed calibrated for two turns. That I was not expecting. Anyway, that went fine. That went just fine. And I've murdered a person. Probably we don't need to kill absolutely everybody, huh? I'll try and be at least a little bit peaceful as I wander, the way through, I wander my way through here. Vegetables! Amazing. Why do they have a garden in here? Apparently they have some sort of a society built up if they've got a garden going, but I care not. I apparently just kill whoever I run into anyway. I accidentally crushed another trash can. It's a real shame, that. All right, so what do we got here? What are you? That's a guard on the left, but what's the thing on the right? Can I speak with you? Are you a boss? You might be a boss. I'm going to try and talk to you, okay? Hello. This thing controls the harbor gate! Ha <laughs> ha! I would like to touch it. Unauthorized access detected, manifesting a horrid projection. Ah, okay, so we've got a guard and what presumably is the horrid projection. Look at that thing. What a, what am I even looking at? It looks like it might be a thing, like a humanoid figure that's flopped on its belly. Like those are the legs at the top and an arm out to the side there on the left. And then that, th that little jutting protrusion on the end that has that row of lines might be the face, like if that's its neck, and then its head curls up. Yeah, like like it's got a huge, thick, muscular neck, and that little thing at the end of there is just the face. That's my guess, anyway. I have no idea, though. I have no idea, so we're just gonna hypnosigil them. And, uh, Dead is Mullen, you go ahead and, uh, calibrate your good friend Wayne there, please. Guard guards, that makes sense. Okay, calibration has happened. Hypnosigils. Worked on the projection and the guard. Fantastic. Well, let's deal with the guard first because I suspect he's going to be an issue if we just kind of hangs out there, you know? So let's try and take him out of the uh, combat before he can do anything. Projection is asleep. I'm going to go ahead and continue to focus on the guard. There we go. Wayne's mightiness has returned to normal. We've accidentally woken up the projection, but that should be okay, I hope. All right, let's see here. What do we want to do here? What do we want to do here? I'm going to just go ahead and attack normally, I think. Detonation I'm curious about, but it costs so much. Well, you know, 
Maybe I should have Wayne detonate? And I'll have, um, yeah, 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 we'll have Wayne detonate, right? We'll have Wayne do a detonation on the Horde projection, but we'll have Deadismal in the meantime calibrate Wayne so his, so his detonation does more damage because Wayne's going to be slow because of the detonation, and hopefully the projection doesn't just totally mess us up in the meantime, yeah? Okay, calibration happens. Wayne, okay, it's sulking. I detonate it for 220 damage, which seems pretty good. Uh, Wayne doesn't have much in the way of will anymore, but that should be okay. I'm just going to go ahead and attack one more time. A standard attack, I think. Because I can't afford another detonation, for one thing. Um, I'm a little bit worried about status ailments. But perhaps I'm just being too paranoid. Let's just try and deal with the projection before it does anything, yeah? Okay, it's it's poisoned. It lashes out with its toxic cranial appendage. That is Moln is poisoned. Okay. Well, I can deal with this. Wayne is... St hey, his Wayne's mightiness is still up, interestingly. Apparently, that's a random period of time that calibration lasts. That's weird, but I'm okay with it. And we'll have Deadismal do some mystic meat to deal with the poison situation, yeah? There we go. And there goes the horrid projection. Well, that was straightforward enough. Beautiful. No problem. 2,000 bucks found. Muscle applique, meat, and every... Every more skeletons have been formed. Harbor Gate has opened. Fantastic. That was what I was looking to do. I can't interact with this anymore, and it doesn't seem to have changed its behavior much. Was it already pulsating quite this much before? I'm not honestly certain. In any case, the Harbor Gate's open. So good, I guess. I can theoretically leave this place and go somewhere else. I'm just leaving a peaceful fashion for now. Let's check out the bridge, though, because apparently I never crossed it. Just seems to be more crawling bugs. Oh, that's a thing. That's a much larger thing than the bugs around it. Is that okay, I wonder? I'm gonna go ahead and just cautiously drink a juice box over here, all right? In fact, you drink one as well, Dedismon. There we go. Okay. And a muscle applique. Let's just go ahead and shoot that directly into Wayne. Because Wayne is turning into a monster with that axe and whatnot. So, good, 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 good. All right. Are you a hostile giant meat thing? You do appear to be a hostile giant meat thing. Okay. Is this a combat situation where I'm supposed to interact with you and get combat? Deutoplasm was found. Okay. And this is deutoplasm as well. That thing is slowly trying to crawl towards me, but I have a suspicion that if it gets to me, that's probably going to be bad for me. What's, what is deutoplasm? What is deutoplasm, hmm? Fully restores targets, flesh, and will. It's an elixir. Well, that's fantastic. Okay. Um. Perhaps it would be a good idea to save right about now, just in case this thing utterly destroys me. But I am going to go and see what it is, huh? Hi there, giant thing. Can I help you? No, I can't. I can't seem to interact with the giant thing at all. Hey, there's another doodleplasm under there. And it's retreating, maybe? Hi. Oh, okay, we're in a combat now. I just couldn't find the exact point that triggered the combat. Okay, so what are you? Creature! You sure are. Alright, well, I'm gonna try and hypnosigil this here creature, just in case. And that is moan. Go ahead and calibrate, Wayne. That should be fine. Good calibration, hypnosigils. Any effect? No, it doesn't seem like it. Wafted ancient odor. 12, 12 damage, and everybody's queasy. Okay, that's a problem. So apparently this thing was extremely immune to sleeping. It didn't even trigger any dialogue when I attempted to put it to sleep. It just doesn't even register. Okay, well, let's go ahead and put up some Mystic Meat then. I have a suspicion I'm going to uh, regret engaging this thing. Wow, that was 50 damage in one hit. Wow, that was 50 damage in one hit. Okay, all right. Um, tell you what... Since Wayne can only take one more of those before dying, and it... Well, no, our damage seems to be pretty consistent in this game. If something does 50 damage, it does 50 damage exactly. I'm going to go ahead and assume that Wayne can survive another attack. So I'm going to have him... I can't detonate. Well, that's okay. Do I have something else similar? Double damage from Space Shuriken. Go ahead and Space Shuriken, the creature. That is Moln. That is Moln. What do we want you to do? Confuse enemies, slight damage. Why don't we try a panorama, see if they're... See if the creature is vulnerable to confusion. Space shurikens go. 
182 damage, pretty good. An engrossing panorama was wrought. Six damage, no confusion, 60 damage. <laughs> this thing is beastly, I tell you what. But they can both take one hit more hit. Dead is Mullen Wayne, both. Provided it doesn't have some sort of ultimate attack that I'm not aware of, yeah? Okay, Wayne, you go ahead and attack. Dead is Mullen, go ahead and recalibrate Wayne. Nice, the calibration seems to go first. Okay. Leeching flesh. The creature is leeching my flesh. I don't like that much. 125 damage. 100, 120, 125 damage. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give a warm burrito to my good friend Wayne and hopefully not die in the meantime. Nice warm burrito. Uh, more leeching of flesh is happening. Someone's going to die. Yes, Wayne has keeled over. The creature is queasy and it's taking 60 damage per turn. I'm guessing that the queasiness does a percentage of health. Which means this thing has six times as much health as the thing that was taking ten damage from queasiness. Which means it's got a lot of health, is all I'm saying. Warm burrito, Wayne, please. I sure hope it doesn't leech more flesh. It's leeching more flesh. It turns out, more flesh is getting leeched. There goes Dennis Moln. And it's healing off of that. That's what's going on. It's, it's, it's genuinely leeching the flesh, I see. Uh, Wayne, I want you to use a deutoplasm on yourself. Oh, I should think about it. I'm using a lot of consumables here because I'm in the habit with RPGs of using consumables because I assume if you die, well, then you can reload, right? But that's not how it works in this game. I just get sent to the afterlife, minus all the items I used. Well, it's okay. Just use one deutoplasm. Uh, more leeching flesh. This is, this is bad. This is bad. I suspect that I shouldn't use any more consumables because I don't think I'm actually prepared to deal with this situation. Let's see what happens if I holopleather myself. If I can possibly survive the next thing that it does. Ancient odor, okay. Ancient odor, not good exactly, but not that bad. All right, all right. Um, mystic meat, please. Is there anything it can do that I will survive? Ancient odor, but it's not gonna do that. In which case, maybe I should holopleather? Maybe I should ho holopleather. Ancient odor. Okay, well, that's not going to do much. Apparently, it will spam Ancient Odor. Good to know. At this point, if it just is a standard physical attack, I'll survive it, so we'll Mystic Meat. And it leeches my flesh, and I die. Right. Well, there you go. Okay, so... So don't interfere with the creature, it turns out. Do, do not interfere with the creature unless you are very confident indeed. I suspect this is something I need to come back for later. <laughs> if I wish to defeat the creature, it's probably going to have to happen later. Do you have anything different to say, afterlife fishes? What gathers your chemical? But what manifests he below that sound? So you're also a random text-generating thing. Got it. He extrudes its revulgent, ref, refulgent truth, or convexity non-tethered its vessel. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to take a nap on the couch, okay? Amid the lilies floats the moth, the mole along his galleries, galleries goeth in the dark. I have flesh and will both. It occurred to me, right? It seems like the, the, the last, um, the last sage I need to find is the sage of death. It would seem to make sense if the sage of death was somewhere here, you know? Given that this is the afterlife, presumably where dead people go. But I have not seen a sage around here. I don't know what to think about that. Um, also, I don't think I found any crystals at all past the warp zone, which is interesting. Hey, the fish is back. Hello, the fish. What are you doing back? Gasp. You can build sand castles on the beach. That is true, but toss the fish into the ocean, yes. Okay. So that fish just continually beaches itself to tell me about making sand castles like that. But, uh, I'm not sure why. <laughs> It's maybe it just enjoys sandcastles and it wants somebody with limbs to build them so that it can enjoy them. Perhaps. Green goes to Green goes to the warp core, right? Or to the place near the warp core, I think. I think, if I'm remembering correctly. Okay. That is a yes. This is in fact near the, nearby to the warp core. Okay, okay, so let's let's go ahead and access the warp. Okay. Oh, I forgot to use the water cooler while I was in the afterlife. Shoot. Wasn't there one around here somewhere? There was one... I remember that I passed two water coolers. Wait, one was in the afterlife, but maybe one was near the warp core? It was, wasn't it? It was, wasn't it? 
I think it was right down there nearby to where those, um... Can I actually go back? Is it possible to access warp? Yes, I can. Good, good. I should have just taken the one on the afterlife, but at least I can access that one anytime. There, that one. That's the water cooler I was thinking of. Let's go over there. Let's go over there and get that one whilst I'm thinking about it. Because otherwise it seems like something would be easy to forget. All right. Paper cup. We can use a paper cup with this machine. Your companion places the paper cup into a recess on the front of the machine and depresses a small blue lever. Fluid flows from the reservoir into the paper cup. You drink it and... Your will is permanently increased by 25 points. Exactly what I hoped. Great. Um... I feel like I might be able to navigate this here ambulance skull zone if I time it just right. Time it just right. Yeah, like that. Muscle applique. That's nice. That's nice and all, but, uh, oh, I'm stuck. Oh, I got myself stuck. Okay. 300 bucks. Very nice. Okay. Do not touch the ambulance skulls. Let's lead them back over to the corner here. I do want that thing on the pedestal if possible. Hello there. Their mad little eyes are kind of freaky, aren't they? I guess that makes sense. It probably should be so. Right over here, please, gentlefolk. Okay, okay, that's that's a little bit too close for comfort as far as I'm concerned. Got it, got it, got it. I got something. I got something. I, I'm gonna have to look at it now that I'm not in danger anymore. What do we got? What do we got? What could it possibly be? I, I don't know what it was. I legitimately don't know what I picked up. Paras parasite crystal. Greatly increases maximum will points. Decreases flesh points. Interesting. It's an instrument. Ah. So it's basically a thing that makes you choose to be essentially this game's version of a mage. So if I were to give the Parasite Crystal to, say, my good friend, that is Molnir, then what happens? 154 becomes his maximum flesh, but his will increases to 350. So it's an additional 200 points. And he's only got... He's only got slightly less health than Wayne now because he's wearing that stupid bell. But the thing is here, if we're just focusing on him as a battle mage type of situation, then maybe this is a good setup for him? Wearing the bell, you know? I don't know. I probably should have a look at the sort of items that I can buy in town. I haven't seen a place I can buy items aside from in town is the thing. I'm a little bit curious about what's beyond that mountain with the creature on it, but I suspect the creature is the main attraction over there. Wait. What is this? I'm the king. I'm the king of the moon. Hi. What's going on? Why did this suddenly happen? Is it because I... Wayne chills many texts, yet doth he sing her memory? What? Below dooms debase the noisome pain. Outside truths avenge the hope. Meanwhile, at the moon palace, Gibby sniffs. Soon our bad beast will be invisibly textures, texturized. You don't mean the creature, do you? Probably not. This is Gibby the Moon King, for sure. He sniffs. And apparently he intends to invisibly texturize the bad beast? For every gland is a wandering field, and every insect is sort of like ocean. I is it? Okay. Oh, we're moving on to Act 2. We're moving on to Act 2. Hello there. Oh, I've murdered this man. And this man. And this man. And also this other man over here. And what are these? I'm un cl unclear. Okay, I squished that down. But the... And I, I interacted with the other things, and that... I'm not sure what it did at all. We got two levers. Do I have to pull both of them in order to access Act 2? Seemingly, yes. Yes, that has done it. Okay. Great. I suppose this... Yes, we've entered Act 2 because I opened up the way to travel to other islands, essentially. How much? I got 5,861 bucks. I should probably go on a quick shopping trip before I, uh, before I commit to anything boat-wise, yeah? That would seem to be the way to go. First, I'm gonna harvest my garden. Look at these beautiful vegetables. We'll make excellent use of these. I certainly do use a lot of veg vegetables in battle, don't I? Yep, absolutely I do. I don't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to be pushed into a corner before I heal myself. Hi there. Chip, chip, chip. Do you have anything new to say there, horse, now that it's act two? No, probably not. It's pretty hard to catch you. Did you know that? Are you aware? We ignore if it's exactly the same. Well, that's just fine. I wonder if the city naming guy has anything new to say now that it's act two. Hi. Time to suffer the arts. Okay. Fair enough, apparently. <laughs> Is there anything new in my house? New kittens? Just one kitten? Just the one kitten. That's okay. Genuinely, that's just fine. 
Okay. Well, my suspicion is... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Am I still nearly dead? No, I'm not, but I could use some more will. Let's just go ahead and take a little bath here, dead as moon. I'm sure you don't mind bathing together. There we go. Beautiful work. I'm thinking that my next goal is probably to go find the prince, right? Probably I'm supposed to go find the prince. And in fact, maybe I should just get right on that, because there's probably equipment that I'm going to be able to buy elsewhere. I already had a look through all the stuff that they sell in the city, and while there was some interesting stuff, I don't know if there's anything truly essential. Let's just, let's just go ahead and proceed on with it and see what we're up against here. Can I only land on docks, or can I land anywhere? Mm. I get the impression I can only land on docks, so whatever this building is here is beyond me for the moment. Okay. There are some of these smaller buildings here, smaller islands that I just can't access. Okay, well that's fine. The building to the west that has the prince on it, the one who is immune to the ambulance skulls, I'm guessing that's probably this one up here? With this ring in the center? Hmm. More things I can't access. That's another one of those towers. It's mysterious towers. I wonder if at some point I'm going to learn to fly or something. Okay, hang on. There's a small thing here. Let's go here first. I don't know if that's a good idea, but it's what I'm doing. Who's this fellow? Your head looks like an upside-down person. Is it supposed to? You had a vegetable growing there, but I'm going to leave it alone for now. Hello there. The lever is off limits. I don't recommend pushing the button either. That's all you have to say? Can't... I, I can't press the... I can't turn... Pull the lever, but I... And I, you wouldn't recommend I push the button either. Okay. But what if I did is the thing, though. What if I did do that thing, though? I keep saving as if I get the opportunity to reload if I die, but I absolutely don't. Okay, maybe I should maybe I should look around a little bit before succumbing to pushing the uh, button and pulling the lever. That's definitely going to happen at some point, let me tell you. Whatever Squiggle Head here, here says on the matter, I will be doing that thing eventually. But for now, let's go ahead and check out the other islands before we commit to anything I'm going to regret. Okay, there's a long squiggly path here that leads into a hole in the ground, so let's try that next. Because it makes me very curious. I'm guessing... I'm guessing that it's going to connect to that thing up at the top there, and then that one will connect to this one over here? Which looks like it's a path to a mystic tower, but, uh, well, that's fine. Let's start there. Hmm. What's this? I've pushed a gravestone, and now there's a ladder. I'm underground. And this is a map of where the place that I am, isn't it? Okay. So this is a dungeon... In and of itself. All right, let's let's. Okay, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and backtrack a little bit. I'm gonna backtrack just a little bit. Okay. I skipped the big obvious thing because I figured that was the next place to go. But this is clearly a dungeon in and of itself. We'll be doing that later as well. I just wanted to get a feel for what you know I, what I have access to. Not that I have boat. I mean, I always had boat, but now I got you know the ability to to move boat around. Okay, what is this thing? It's just like a little flat thing with eyes, but. Uh, and maybe fingers around it, as if it was like buried hands. Like the things in Elden Ring. That'll grab you if you stand inside it. Too many fingers, you know? What? What is this? Hello. Sandcastles? Much more advanced than the, the variety that I'm capable of producing. That one has a thing floating over it. wonder what it is. So does this one. They all do, now that I look at it. And the things floating over them look like the bugs that crawl around. Hmm. I wonder if this is relevant someplace else. Like if this is a code I'm going to need to reproduce elsewhere, you know? Seems possible. So let me see if I can, like, marginally memorize these things. So this one here is like a bird head nestled inside a sea. This one's a closed eye. That's like a snail. And then that's like if someone put their finger inside the closed eye. So bird head in a sea, closed eye, snail... Finger in the eye. Okay, okay, we'll just see if I can remember that. Maybe I can't. But I can always come back here if I need to, I suppose. Alright, so what else do we have around here? Protuberance doesn't accomplish anything. That's fine. What's this? A house. Hello. Oh, hey, it's a, it's a one of them W heads. Hi there, W head. What's your deal? The bubble links at noonday sing more softly than the softest flute. And lightlier than the light li lightest loot, their fairy tambours ring. Okay, anything else to say? Hydrate hopish. I, I try to, but I'm out of the paper cups, you see. 
There's not much for it, I'm afraid. So what's inside here? Clearly there's something out back, but let's check in here first. Uh, this is... This is the code from just down, just down the way. Okay, so bird head. Uh-huh. And then closed eye. And then snail. And then finger in the eye. And that opens the door. Okay, so before I step inside there... Because <laughs> I never want to commit to anything before I'm sure I've explored my other options. What's your deal? You look like a... You look like the guy who sells the, um... The pay bath over at the city. What's what's your deal? <laughs> Psst. Hey. Squirrel food. I got your squirrel food. Two thousand bucks for some squirrel food. Deals like this come once in a lifetime. Yeah! Nah, man. Nah. I do have a squirrel at my house. I suppose this is an opportunity to field my squirrel? I feel like I can generate two thousand bucks without too much difficulty, yeah? Yeah! Yeah, I'll buy your squirrel food. Yeah! Acquired squirrel food. Thanks. I think I will just stand here forever. Oh, okay. Well, you do that. <laughs> is that a key thing? It is. Squirrel food. Probably nuts and things. I mean, that seems to make sense. I would imagine... It would seem to make sense if you could just look at it and see what it is. But apparently Wayne doesn't care enough to check. It's for feeding the squirrels, and therefore Wayne is satisfied. Okay, let's check out this mysterious door then. Wow, look at you. Look at your pointy head. And your jazzy dance. Alright, well, you got a TV as well, but let's talk to him first before just... You know... Availing myself of your TV without permission. Who are you? I am called Pongorma. It's, Pong it's Prince Pongorma! Knight, Knight Pongorma. He's not a prince, he's a knight. I've been misremembering. He's a knight. He's also got a face, which is pretty unique around here, aside from Wayne. Anyway, I am called Pongorma, greatest of the dread knights of V-Thorn. Through long ages, I have waited in this vault. Uh-huh. Fight me! Uh, okay. Nope. <laughs> okay, Pungorma, I guess there are two of us and one of you, so we have something of an advantage. I guess we'll see how mighty you are, but yeah, yeah, I'll fight you. Prepare yourself! Pungorma brought guards. How dare you, Pungorma? Guard A, Dark Knight, Guard B. Huh. Okay. Well, let's try and put him to sleep, I guess. I hope I wasn't supposed to just refuse to fight him. Like, if I fight him, is he actually going to die? Because, here's the thing, right? I feel like this guy's face is one of the ones that shows up as the recruitable characters. <laughs> He's got his distinctive face, you know? I hope I'm not going to accidentally kill Pungorma. Well, in any case... Whoops, I accidentally had Dedesmon skip his turn, but we're going to try and put him to sleep anyway. It's a start. Pungorma is not asleep. He attacks for 30 damage. And then attacked again and it didn't hurt. But that's okay. Alright, so... Okay. I'm gonna have my good friend Wayne here detonate the Dark Knight. And we'll calibrate Wayne so that his detonation does even more damage! Ancient Odor? How dare you, Dark Knight? We're all gonna be stunk up real good. Look at that. Okay. Nice detonation. Okay. So... I would like Wayne to go ahead and attack the Dark Knight. I would like Dedesmon to get some Mystic Meat going so we stop being poisoned. And that's it. Mystic Meat. Invoke the meat. Very good. Okay. And the Dark Knight is poisoned. He unleashed the Dark Flame and we took a bunch of damage. Which is not great, but we should be okay-ish. Okay. So Wayne is still attack boosted. The, the guards are still asleep. Dark Knight, I wish... I wish Wayne for you to kill the Dark Knight, or not kill the Dark Knight, but defeat the Dark Knight! I wish to recruit the Dark Knight, is all I'm saying. I would like to, re to recruit the Dark Knight. I hope I'm not ruining my chances. Who knows? I might be! He also Mystic Meated himself, and re removed the sleep from his guards! Oh! Now that's a thing. Now that's a heck of a thing that you've done right there, my good friend. Okay. Wayne, a Blade of Hollow Pleather yourself. That is Mon. Calibrate your good friend Wayne. The guards are guarding. Okay. Nice hollow pleather. Dark Knight unleashes the dark flame. Wayne barely feels it, which is nice. Okay. Wayne, you are boosted. Let's go ahead and use your boost. Destroy the... Well, do not destroy. Do not destroy the Dark Knight. Simply weaken. Rough up the Dark Knight a little bit, would ya? 
Hollow Pleasant for Dead is Mullen. Okay. Okay, that that hurts, but we're okay. Oh, right, the guards are awake. I should probably... Oh, right, there went the ailment guards. So now I can try hypnosigiling them again. And, uh... One more hollow pleather for my good friend Dedismon. There we go. Come on, everybody to sleep now. Everybody to sleep. Wow, it didn't work on the guard. Well, I guess we're gonna... I guess we're gonna beat up the guard. <laughs> I guess we're gonna rough up this here guard. And that's okay. Dedismon, please calibrate. Wayne, if you please... Try to make short work of this here guard. Everybody's asleep except for the one we are destroying. All right, Denizamon, please hollow pleather Wayne, because you are the mage here now. Hold up, hold up, what I do? You can't hollow pleather. You can't hollow hollow pleather someone else. That is something I had already realized, I think, but I forgot. So instead, Wayne, have a vegetable. Have a vegetable, Wayne. There we go. Guard is slain. Nice vegetable. Okay. The Dark Knight's still asleep. Wayne, I wish for you to work on this guard here. Give him, a, give him a good roughing up. A once over. There it is. He's nauseated and awake. That is when he does his best. The Dark Knight is awake as well. Okay. Um. Just take the guard out of the, out of the picture and recalibrate Wayne, please. Uh, the guard is guarding. That might be an issue, actually. 45 damage is still pretty good. So it's only a 50% reduction. Wow, he attacked Dedismon twice. And that hurt quite a lot, actually. Um, just attack. Just attack. We're good here. Hollow pleather yourself, Dedismon. Save yourself. Very good. And the Dark Knight is slain. 2,000 bucks found. No applique. I am defeated. Thank goodness he's not actually dead. Okay. Very well. I will follow you and aid in your violent endeavors. Thanks. By the way, I have dominion over the ambulance skulls. You needn't fear their deadly touch any longer. Thank goodness, that's kind of why I was coming to recruit you, as it turns out. Fantastic. We got Pungorma. Look at this party. We... I didn't really notice it when there was just Dedismon, but we have a tendency to follow each other way too uncomfortably close, don't we? <laughs> Can I sleep on your couch, Pungorma? Oh, no. I'm terribly sorry. I don't know my own touch, apparently. Uh, TV. TV? TV. It's the Dark Flame! Learn Dark Flame! Beautiful. Beautiful. I wonder if that's... It probably also stems from mightiness, huh? So probably Dedismon, despite having all the, uh... Uh, despite having all of the will in the world, is probably not going to be great at the Dark Flame. It's a shame, that. Hey, a bath! Oh, I ruined your bath as well. Pongorma, I'm terribly sorry. I'm just completely ruining your house. But then again, again, you're following me now, so I guess you don't live here anymore, so it's probably fine, huh? It's probably fine. Let us away! Okay. There was a water cooler over here, right? There certainly was, but I don't have a cup to drink from it. I'll just have to remember that it is here. Okay. Great. Do you have anything to say now that Pongorma's here? No, you don't. Nothing different. That's okay. That's just fine. Okay, so we got Pungorma. We also got squirrel food, so I'm gonna I'm gonna wander back to my house real quick and feed my squirrel, and then we're gonna do whatever we can with the ambulance skulls. Probably nothing, actually. Come to think on it, I don't think there's anything I can do with ambulance skulls. They were guarding a couple things, sure, but I just dodged them, and we're good now. Well, in any case, swing by the house, feed the squirrel. Hello there, squirrel. Hello there, squirrel. Hello there, squirrel. He hello, squirrel. Chip chip gives squirrel, squirrel food. That is exactly what I'm here for. Take this food. Wait a second. Before I do that, chip. Okay, I want to actually be able to see you. Just in case you, like, something happens weird with your body because it's this game. I don't know. Give squirrel food. Acquired head squirrel. Head squirrel? Like I can wear it on my head? Can I wear it on my head? Is it actually a... It is. Loyal head squirrel prevents negative status effects. <laughs> That's amazing! That's amazing. Okay, hang on, hang on. Before I equip this head... I'm going to equip the head squirrel, but let me just see. 156 flesh, 150 will. Let's see what happens with the head squirrel on. There we go. 214 flesh. Wow! That is a substantial upgrade, let me tell you. Okay, Pungorma, you are... Wow, he's actually equipped already. Joyous. Inflicts jolly damage. 
It's better than anything else anybody else has. Look at his mightiness! 75 mightiness. Admittedly, he has an artificial bicep bonds. So that probably helps. But he's also got bad juju as well. Huh. Okay. Formed into a nugget of, for easy portability. I guess I didn't notice that. Or I probably read it out loud, but I don't know if I, um... I don't know if I actually registered what was going on there. Okay, anyway, Pungorma is a, is a powerhouse. Good to know. Um, what does he got for powers? Pungorma. Dark Flame, Partial Destruct, Ancient Odor. Okay, so the Ancient Odor is minor damage and poison. Partial Destruct is inflicts damage equal to 25% of target's current flesh points. I see. 25% of current flesh points. So by doing that at the beginning of a fight, I can get a pretty good idea of how many hit points they've got total. And also, it's going to be the best time to use it because it'll do the most damage when they have the most hit points. I mean, flesh points, of course. All right, in any case, we should watch my TV to just go ahead and get Pungorma hooked up with uh, the ablative hollow leather. Uh, hollow, hollow leather. Ablative hollow pleather. That's the one. Okay, good. Oh! There's now another cat. I bring home more party members. My cat has more cats. More kittens. Interesting. I'm not sure how that works, but okay. I'm alright with it. I understand. Okay, what else did I need to do around here? Well, gather up some more vegetables, I guess. Which maybe is a little bit overkill. I kind of have a lot of them. I theoretically could sell some of them, I suppose. Just bring them to market as if I were a farmer. But, uh... I probably won't. <laughs> okay, so the other thing that, that we can do now is we can access the skull. Does that mean I can fight the skulls? I wonder if that means I can fight the skulls. Or is it just that we ignore the skulls now? Not sure. Let's just swing by and see what happens. Pungorma has dominion over the skulls, so it may be that we don't even have to fight him. I'm just going to swing by that one down there and see what happens, okay? Since its, touch, touch, since its touch will no longer be deadly, I'm curious what it act, what it will do. Also, I should probably... Put, yes, Mystic Meat is definitely something we want Pungorma to have access to. Okay. Pungorma also has... Wow! Pungorma's only got 100 will. Oh, that's interesting. So... If you don't have them present when you access the water cooler, they don't get the upgrade. That's... Wow, that's, um, that's very good to know. And also kind of bad. Hi there. Whoa! You got banished via explosion. That was the animation for... Wait, not explosion. Detonation. Interesting. So Pungorma just sort of got rid of it, I guess? Oh, no, it's back. But now it's gone again. Fantastic. Okay, I don't think that I have any business with, uh with the other skulls in the corner. I don't really have any reason to go bully them. But you know what we could do is we could take another shot at the creature. Then again, the creature does massive damage and Pungorma couldn't even survive a single hit from that thing right now. So maybe maybe we don't do that. <laughs> Why is Pungorma's hit, uh, flesh so low? Let me see here. Hmm. The Dirk does increase your flesh, I suppose. That probably contributes... I wonder if there's some better armor available in the city. Let me just swing by and have a look around, okay? I'll try and, like, skip some of it since, you know, you've seen the city. Garmed in Brit. You there. I need another frozen burrito. And we need to microwave a couple of them. Okay, good. Restocking a little bit on warm burritos seems important. I've never used a frozen burrito. Maybe I should do that sometime. I wonder how much damage it does. Like cellophane, not super interested. Turbo tendons! Hmm. Now, theoretically, what I could do, see, is I could get the turbo tendons and I could throw them on... Well, let's see here. I was gonna say I could put him on Pungorma and give him another weapon just to make him that much more ridiculous. Plus, then he could give him- I could give him a Dirk and he would have the extra- He could have the extra, you know, the extra flesh. That's what I'm trying to think of. But before I do that, let's just make sure there isn't something else I should be spending my money, my bucks on. Armors, okay. Combat bell, too large to wear anything else with it. Berry shields, though. Hmm. Greatly increases maximum flesh points, but we'd have to unequip the artificial bicep, huh? 
Chrome Bowler, Chrome Bowler gives you the 10% chance of blinding targets, but you're no longer immune to blind. Pongorma's already got a bleak cellophane. Dennis Mold is not currently immune to, to blind, is the thing. Hmm. Do we leave Dennis Mold in the combat belt? I'm kind of not feeling it, you know? I feel like it might be worth giving someone a Chrome Bowler, but then again, Dennis Mold doesn't do much attacking these days. But he did just learn the Dark Flames, so... There's so many options, and I'm probably debating too much <laughs> when you come down to it. Let me have a look at the weapon shop, though. Hang on. It's fate. Remember, it's fate. Banish its pungent fate, for our hope invisibly is a doom mountain. That doesn't mean anything. Stride, pungent glance, so in dirt. Who will stretch this engine of ray? Not me, I'm busy. It's having her bludgeoning. Let's see here. Fork! Weaponized utensil increases will by 50. Okay. I wonder if it's worthwhile. The 20% chance to poison isn't bad. Particularly when you're dealing with something with a lot of hit points. That extra percentage chipping away is pretty good, but... 4,000 is also a lot of money to spend. <laughs> And I've got a spare dirks. I'm thinking maybe that's what I should do. Get myself the tendons. Throw them at, uh... Pungorma there. And do like I said. Do the thing I said. Perhaps I'll just do the thing I said. Okay. Turbo tendons. One turbo tendons, please. Okay, so now, if we go to get dressed and get Pungorma... We switch to the turbo tendons. Oh, bad juju does increase your mightiness by seven, by ten. That's interesting. But if I put turbo tendons on him, right? Oh, it's not that it. Oh, interesting. It actually unequipped. It it makes it so you no longer have a deflector slot. So it, it unequipped his artificial bicep. Wait, if the artificial bicep is already increasing his flesh, why is his flesh so low? I guess we do start with a base of 50 flesh, so that's not that surprising. Hmm. Okay, so throw the turbo tendons on him, right? And then we give him a dirk. That technically is more mightiness than he had with the, uh, with the muscle thingy. And that is more flesh as well. Okay, so that's technically a better setup for him. But he doesn't have the poison anymore. And it's not that much of a damage up. But theoretically, what you could do is you could make Pungorma your your damage dealer, right? You could take the Bestial Axe off of Wayne here. If I were to switch back to a Dirk, I could technically put the Des Bestial Axe on Pungorma, which puts him at 95 Mightiness, but then his flesh is down to 72. So, okay, hang on. I don't know if I want him to be quite as much of a glass cannon as that. Plus, having two main two damage dealers is probably better than just one. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Dead is mold. Do I have? We just have the toilet paper. I think I want to switch dead is mold out of the bell. It's a decent amount of flesh, but I feel like we can make better utility of of our resources here if I stop limiting him to hanging around, sitting, standing in a bell. You know. All right. So let's just get him a standard torso shell since that's all I have access to at the moment. Chrome bowler. Let's give him a chrome bowler. It'll be fine. All right, so dead is moon. You get a torso shell. Then we're gonna give you the artificial bicep, as well as the chrome bowler. And we're gonna give you one of these bad jujus. Okay. Okay. His mightiness is still pretty puny, admittedly, dead is moon, but at least it's better than it was a minute ago. All right. All right, I feel okay about this setup. I feel like this is a reasonable way to, to trot around town. So let me just get my way out of town. Hang on. Okay. Let me just swing by my house and take a bath with my good, good friends. Excuse me. Not the toilet. We don't take baths in the toilet, it turns out, Wayne. There we go. A fine bath was had by all. All right. And... Hang on. In terms of powers... 
I haven't gotten Pungorma, what, Calibration? Calibration is from the afterlife. Detonation either, but I don't remember where that one came from. Genuinely, I don't. <laughs> it's probably beyond the warp gate, huh? Yeah, probably. In any case. I'm... I'm going to take one more shot at the creature. <laughs> it might... No, 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 I'm not. No, I'm not. Because if he starts leeching flesh, Pungorma's just dead. And there's absolutely nothing I can do about it. I think the creature comes later. I think the creature comes later. Okay, all right. I acquiesce that the creature comes later. Now, I guess it's time to head to that long, narrow passageway that leads to a cave? Seems to be the case anyway. Oh, wait. I could also push the button and the lever. I could go mess with that one guy with the fancy head. Probably fine. Save real quick. Hang on, I want to look at the legs. Oh, it's not legs now. You can now see our entire heads. Why, why was it just legs before? It was like it was zoomed out too far or something. It's very strange. Anyway. Hi there. Are we allowed to do the thing now that we have a knight with us? The lever's off limits. I don't recommend pushing the button either. Okay, well, I'm pushing the button. Did it. It didn't do anything. <laughs> Doesn't seem to do anything at all. I'm sorry, what did you say? I didn't hear you. What did you say? Say it again. Say it again. I'll give you these muscle appliques. Just stop pushing the button. Required two muscle appliques. Okay, well, thank you. Okay, well, that's nice. <laughs> I, I, I managed to obtain something for my, for my being basically a jerk <laughs> which is nice i guess i do wonder what you just said i'd probably just stop putting the, stop pushing the button huh all right well what if i pull the lever what are you gonna do if i pull the lever huh please don't touch the lever thank you you sure i would like to touch the lever please don't touch the lever but 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 spamming but spamming i can't touch the lever really are you sure Okay, satisfy myself with this button, I guess. Ugh, that sound! Sort of like plastic gland engines! Gland engines, huh? Well, let's see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna just muscle applicate the three of us here. I'm gonna save one, just in case this guy's fancy head and um, portrait in the top left means that he's gonna get recruited to our cause if I do this properly. <laughs> I'm metagaming, yeah! Button, button, button. 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 <sighs> what if I hit the lever now? Okay, doesn't do anything. I just want to aggravate you to the point that you don't stop me from pulling the lever. That's all I want here. That's all I want in life. Actualize microcosm apparel. Luxuriously actualized. You're a button-pressing maniac. Take this. Acquired paper cup. Wow, that's amazing. Now go. There's nothing more for you here. May, be, may you embrace endurance. Okay. Leave me. But lever, please don't touch the lever. Nothing more for you here? Are you absolutely certain? Can I aggravate you to the point that you attack us? No? I absolutely can't. Okay, I'm leaving. Sorry. Sorry for being extremely obnoxious. Hey, but I got a paper cup. That's pretty nice. Although I wonder if I should save it now that, uh, because again, metagaming, there's a slot for a fourth party member right there. And when you see a portrait of the characters from this game, there's four of them. Spoilers, there's four characters. I don't know what the fourth one is, or who it is, or if it's that guy, or anything like that, but I wonder if I should save the paper cup until that fourth guy is here, so we all get the will upgrade? I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking too hard about things. Often I'm thinking too hard about things. Okay, let's go into the into the basement here. Okay, so let's see here. Quite a ladder maze we got set up down here. Also, we got a blue crystal, probably the first one on the right. If I do die, I can get sent back there. Okay, so there's holes in the ground to the far left, two on the path at the top left, with two paths out of the caves from up there, one directly to the back. Then we got a ladder in the center chamber here, one to the bottom, one in the last coil over here, and then one near the exit in the top right. I don't know where I'm trying to get here, so let's start by going up here. Can I actually push these gravestones? I can. Does it do anything? It doesn't seem to. This thing... Looks hostile, probably. I guess you're a ghost or something? The fact that you're fairly slow means that you're avoidable, but I guess I should probably see what's going on, huh? 
Okay. Oh, hey, those are those um despair or despair puffs rather. And a, it's just a ghost. It's just a ghost. Okay. Well, well, Wayne, if you would kindly hypnosigil them. Dedismon, I would like you to calibrate Pungorma, and Pungorma, I want you to use the Dark Flame. Slightly stronger than normal attack. Okay. Sounds good. Calibration on Pungorma first thing. Good. Hypno Sigils, which is stupid now that I'm using the Dark Flame, now that I think on it. Because now they're all going to take damage and wake up. But, a calibrated Dark Flame is amazing. The ghost attacks, Pungorma takes 35 damage. Okay, good to know. Uh, let's just attack spam them. See how it goes. Evasion. Okay. Unnerving glyphs. The ghost described unnerving glyphs. And we lost a bunch of will and some hit points as well. Flesh points, excuse me. Um, okay, so ghosts don't take physical damage. I guess that makes sense. I guess Dark Flame the ghost. And just in case it's not quite enough, let's go ahead and calibrate Wayne first. Uh, guard for now, Pungorma. Go calibrated Wayne, Dark Flame. The ghost is still alive. Oh, that's not good at all. Okay, Wayne can't do anything. I'm out of. Okay, 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 okay. I'm going to use a juice box on Pungorma. That is when I want you to unleash the Dark Flame, but I want Pungorma to. Oh, Pungorma doesn't have calibration. <laughs> Shoot. Okay. Pungorma. No, never mind. Hang on. Hang on. Hang oh, there's an escape option. If you push all the way to the left, you can you can flee. That's good to know. I don't think I need to just yet, but um. Okay, Wayne. Hmm. Wayne, use a juice box on yourself. That is Moon. Go ahead and unleash the dark flame. Pungorma guard. Voice is shining. No effect on Dead is Moon. Juice box on Wayne. Very good. The dark flame is unleashed. The ghost is slain, thank goodness. And yes, indeed, Dennis Moon's Dark Flame is extremely weak. Juice box, dynamite juice box, warm burrito, warm burrito. Blood skeleton? No blood skeleton. Ghosts don't leave blood skeletons. Well, I guess that makes sense. Oh, but there are a bunch of them around here, huh? I guess it makes sense, this being a graveyard and all. Door. Inspect door. Um, it seems to have a big sad face over it, and it doesn't seem to want to open. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is probably bad. Escape? Wayne's crew has started to escape. We've done it. Okay, so we can just sort of peace out if we need to. That's good to know as well. All right, so the ladders are hidden under certain gravestones, and I need to actually remember all that stuff I was looking at, and I don't. So let's, have a, let's go back down. Let's go back down. Okay. Presumably, this is the first ladder here. So there should be one just over to the right, around a corner. Let's see if we can find that one. Over to the right, around a corner. Here? There. Okay. Oh boy, there's thingies here. There sure are. I've activated that thing, whatever it is. The thingies are pursuing me? Seemingly, yes. Dread meat, despair puff, and sub shrub. Okay. Okay. Um. Wayne, I want you to unleash the dark flame. I want. Dead is mold to calibrate Wayne. I want. Pungorma. Pungorma, I want you to eat a vegetable. Okay. Calibration on Wayne. Wayne unleashes the Dark Flame. The Subshrub is slain, as is the Despair Puff. Pungorma uses a vegetable. Good. Good. Now, Dreadmeat attacks for 40 damage! Okay, well that's good to know. Can he take physical? It would be really nice if you could if you're not a ghost. Are you a ghost? You look a little ghosty. You can take damage, thank goodness. But you can take a lot of it. Pungorma took 40. Okay. Let's just finish him. There, good, 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 good. Dread meat is 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 attackable. That is fantastic news. Vegetables and warm burritos for everybody. Okay, let's activate you. And you. Everybody's doing a little dance. Seems like a good time. It won't budge. Okay, so there's is there a pattern I need to actually be following here? Possibly, but I don't know what it is. The one on the right is shaking its head left to right. This one is rocking. That one is nodding. There's probably there's probably something going on here. I just don't know about it. Okay. Okay. So juice pack was found. That was a that was an item box. I see. I seem to recall this being a ladder. Indeed it is. There's red flesh down here. 
Okay, that guy's dancing. I guess we'll fight the Dreadflesh. I just sort of walked right into him. Okay, we got a Malign Hologram, we got a Mustelid, we got a Cone Cultus and a Dread Meat. Wow, that escalated quickly. Um, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and Hypno Sigils them because I can't actually unleash the Dark Flame. I don't have the will for that. Dedismon, I wish for you to calibrate Pungorma. Pungorma, I wish for you to destroy the Cone Cultist. I'm guessing it'll be a one-shot, but we'll see how it actually works out. Okay, the Malign Hologram is, is awake. The Cone Cultist is, in fact, defeated. Malign Hologram has calibrated the Mustelid, but it's asleep, so that's okay. Uh, all right, let's pile on the Hologram for now. Good. Good. It is slain. The Mustelid is awake because bad planning. Let's go ahead and defeat the Mustelid, if possible. Oh, well, that was earlier than I expected. And the dread meat's awake. Okay. It's nauseated, which is nice. It actually does more da The nauseation did more damage than Dedismon's attack. But that's okay. That's all right. Let's just go ahead and attack spam it. I think we're going to be okay. It's probably going to do some decent... Oh, it it's slain. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Warm burrito, muscle applique, frozen burrito meat. All pretty good. Okay. I'm guessing then that I need to activate all these little dancing statues, huh? It does seem that way. Okay. That said, I think it would be a good idea if I use some vegetables and some juice boxes because we're a little bit low on stuff. It's kind of hard to get Dennis Mold up to speed in terms of juice boxes because he has a lot of will these days, it turns out. I don't want to fight the ghost, but I do want the ladder. Oh, the ghost can pass between the gravestones. That makes sense. There's a space between them. Okay, so we need to dodge the ghost and also find the ladder. That's not the ladder. Now the gravestone's out of the way and the ghost is in the way and this has all gone spectacularly poorly. Uh, Wayne? Hmm. Wayne, I want you to use space shurikens on the ghost and hopefully that does damage. Guess we'll find out if it does. Calibrate Pungorma. Pungorma, the dark flame, please. Okay. Dark Flame is unleashed, and the- I think the ghost did take damage from the- the, the shurikens? Man, the unnerving glyphs, those things stink! Okay, well, let's find out if I was right. Space shurikens, space shurikens, everybody space shurikens, because standard attacks don't work on this guy. Pungorma, have a juice box. I need more juice boxes, for sure. We need a- yeah, by, yes. Okay, the space shurikens do absolutely work on the ghosts, but they take so much damage and they're perfectly immune to physicals, so I can't just go spamming all my attacks like this or else I'm pretty much doomed. Where's the ladder? Where was it? I don't remember. Move all the gravestones. Surely it must be under one of them. There it is. Okay, activate this dancing fellow. Okay, there's another ladder up there. I should probably just go reference the, um... Uh, I don't want to fight the ghost. I don't want to fight the ghost. Okay, I, let's go reference the, the map over here. Reference it! Okay, so it's right by the turn below the exit to the top right. Okay. Right by the wall on this side. Exactly where the ghost is. What do you know about that? What's over here? I don't know, but I hope the ghost can't follow me over here or else I'm in a lot of trouble. Hi! What's your deal? Oh, you're a cat! Right, I've seen that cats like that before. Take a nap on the couch! Oh, thank goodness! Let everything that partially purify or purify not me mechanized wire, let mortal product, let furnace aware. Deceive hope, deceive hope, deceive hope. Our sub sustenance saith. Apparently, but my flesh and will is restored, so that's good. <laughs> Microwave or frozen burrito? Yeah, sure. Just one, though, please. It became a warm burrito. Couldn't ask for more. Excuse me, cat. Excuse me, cat. Thank you. All right, so where does this path go? A ghost room. There's a trash can. Uh, nothing was accomplished by act activating the trash can. It just fell over, and that was it. Oh, boy. Okay, well, let's go ahead and... Space Shurik and the ghost. No, 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 no. You know what, Wayne? You unleash the dark flame. Wait, does... Does Pungorma have space shurikens yet? He doesn't! Oh, no! Okay, okay, Wayne. Wayne. Yeah, back to plan A. Space shurikens... We calibrate Wayne and Pungorma unleash the Dark Flame. 
There we go. Good. Oh, but the space shurikens are faster than the calibration. I sh probably should have seen that coming. Their main trait is that they're fast, after all. Okay. That is, won't took 35 damage, but that's okay. Wayne, if you could just pummel this ghost pretty good, that'd be nice. Ben Gorma, go ahead and guard. There we go. That's some powerful shurikening. Very good. Dynamite juice boxes, warm burritos. Good stuff all around. Okay. There's probably a ladder around here somewhere. But I don't remember the left side of the room, unfortunately. Wait, this looks like the little dancing guys. Not got a ladder, though, so... I guess the little dancing guys just are related to the pattern that's on the gravestone, somehow. Okay. Okay. I still haven't done the top left one. The top right one, rather. Excuse me. Let me go and see if I can do that. The ghost did follow me a little ways, but not far enough that it's a problem. Down the ladder. Flesh! Oh, but there's a TV. There's a TV. Let me watch the TV first. What do you got for me, TV? What was that? Glyphs of some sort. Learned health chant! What's health chant? What's health chant? Health chant. Restores 50% of all allies' flesh. That's amazing. And that is now Dedismon's main job as the one with all the will around here. Activate the little dancing guy. Ah, uh, sure, you know what? Since I can't fight the ghosts, I may as well fight all these guys, huh? Wow, I didn't rest between fights. Wow, I didn't rest at all between fights. Okay, that's complicating things. Is there anything I can do? I can hypnosigils. Do it. Hypnosigils. Okay, and here's what we're going to do. We're going to have Dedismon calibrate Pun. Pangorma? Yes. And Pangorma, I actually want you to give a juice box to Wayne. Despite the fact that you're getting calibrated, it'll be fine, trust me. Just trust me on this one. It's fine, Pangorma. Okay, the hologram's awake, because it's a hologram, and I don't think you can put those to sleep. And that's just fine. Wayne took a little damage, but he feels fine. I promise. Wayne, the Dark Flame, if you please. Uh, we'll go ahead and calibrate before you do that. And Pangorma... Pangorma... Take out the Malign Hologram if it's still alive. Shouldn't have unleashed the Dark Flame now that I think on it. Okay, but those three guys are probably all slain, yeah? They certainly are. Pangorma attacks! The meat takes damage. Everybody pummel the meat. It's not meat. It is meat. It's dread meat. It says so right there. Great. I got him. I did it. I suppose the main thing you get from fighting is money, not experience. But I guess I do I do gather meat off their corpses that I can then convert into flesh in the afterlife. So there's that. Um, it occurs to me that the chests around here don't look like chests, so I have to keep an eye out for the things that don't look like chests, despite the fact that they don't look like chests. They are chests. They are chests. You have to, you have to believe. Okay, so I got the little dancing guy up there, didn't I? I think so. So we're just, we just gotta get these three. So we gotta go bottom left all the way to the side, and then two along the pathway to the north. Okay. Bottom left all the way. We gotta get past that ghost. If you could come out here, please. Sir Ghost, thank you. Bottom left all the way to the side. Here. No, here. No, uh, here. No, here. Yes, okay. Here we are, there's Flesh. We activate the little dancing man. Hello, Flesh. I shall... I really gotta get, get myself some will between fights, huh? Really, I do. Wayne, just go ahead and put him to sleep again. If possible, that is Moln. That is Moln, go ahead and give a juice box to Wayne. That'll work fine. Pungorma. Hmm, what are we gonna do, Pungorma? Pungorma, attack the subshrub. There we go. Dread meets asleep, Subshrub is not asleep. So that works out nicely. So what does the Subshrub do? It, never, it attacks for, for 20 damage. That's not particularly notable. No problem, okay. Wayne, I want you to finish off the Subshrub. The other two of you, I, I, I messed it up. I wanted to have Pungorma attack the uh, Despair Puff, but I didn't. I didn't. All right, well, this is fine, go ahead and... There we go, good. Despair Puff is down, and we fight the Dread Meat. It's nauseated, very convenient. Full round of attacks for you, my good friend Meat. Oh boy. Meatualized bubbles? I'm not sure what that was supposed to do. Maybe. Oh, you know, I bet it was supposed to be a poison effect or some sort of 
uh, some sort of status effect, but I got a squirrel preventing such things from happening to me. Thank you very much. All right. So there's a ladder over there and a ladder up there. Those are my last two ladders. And then theoretically, I should be able to activate whatever that is in the center room. Yes, I hope. We got to take the top path to get there. There should be one here-ish. Here-ish, somewhere around here. There it is. Hello? Apparently I skipped one. Fascinating. Over here then? This one here? No, this one here? It's gotta be right here somewhere. <laughs> it's gotta be, there it is. There you are. Okay, activate this guy. And then was is this actually something? No, it's not. It's just a part of the little border that looks like a grate. There's a part of it that looks like a little guy over here, come to think on it. I suppose they're supposed to look like dead people, perhaps? They are a little bit skeletal, I suppose, in the in the mouth department. Can I move this now? It won't budge. I can't. I've activated all the, the jigglymen, though, right? Yes? No? It's hard to say. Did I skip one? Did I miss one? Man. Okay, hang on. Let me look around and make sure. There's also no guarantee that once I have all the little dancing guys dancing, that that actually does anything at all. <laughs> it might open the door up top. That's a possibility. That's a possibility. Still, I'm going to double check. Yep, it looks to me like they're all activated. So let me just go check the door then, I suppose? But let's not fight this ghost. Let's not go to Camelot. I'm going to take a nap, though, while I'm here. Excuse me. What just happened? There we go. I'm not sure why it windowed out when I tried to take a tap nap on the couch, but it did. I'll just remove it. It's fine. All right. Oh, it was different. Pilot homunculus this time. The, 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 the poem was different this time. I think it told me to pilot a homunculus. Well, that's good to know. All right, let's just scoot back over there and see if I can open the door now. I think that's the only thing left to do around here. Aside from pull out that chain link that won't budge. Presumably that'll come up sooner or later. All right, big door. Big door, come on. How about it? We good? Are we not good? We're not good. <laughs> okay, well, apparently I missed something. Um, hmm. One last look at the map chamber. Let me see here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So this is a puzzle and I'm failing the puzzle? Oh, wait, 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 wait. There might be another ladder here. Because I think this is... Yeah, there's another ladder here. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Okay, okay. So with that guy activated, right? With that guy activated, now can I pull out that chain link? In the main chamber over here? This one. Oh, look at that. It's totally active. Okay. It sounds like something moved above ground. Fantastic. Everybody's a moving, and that's really all I can ask for. Okay, so the giant door is presumably open at this point? Why, yes, so it is. Steps going down into the darkness. Let's go have a look. Wow! Well, apparently I have an alert sound on that I didn't expect to. Uh, give me just a second to deal with that. Okay, I think I took care of it. Sorry that I interrupted the music here. So we've got some manner of... What are they even wearing on their heads? It looks like horseshoe crabs, but they're Naruto running around the center a bit here. Okay, I'm, I'm assuming you're hostile, right? And that's a body down there. There's a body below. I, I, I guess this is a mausoleum of sorts, so I guess it makes sense that there's bodies down here in the basement, but it's still a little weird. It's still a little weird. All right, all right, let's engage one of these guys and see what their deal is. Hi. What's your deal? Fathead, Manoops, Spiral Polycerate. Well, I know how to deal with a Spiral Polycerate for sure, but uh, let's go ahead and how do we want to go about this? Do we just Dark Flame them right away? Might be the thing to do. No, no, let, let's let's try some Hypnosigil, we'll see if they work. Dead is Moan, please calibrate Pungorma. Pungorma, focus on the Spiral, spiral, poly, yeah, spiral Polycerate because they're a known quantity. Okay. Calibration. 
might do this. Up, oh, fat head attacks really quickly. Steady stare. I'm not sure what it did. Possibly a bunch of damage? Okay. The monoops is asleep. The mono mono ops. It's probably mono ops. Because it's got one eye that it's using to stare at me, apparently. <laughs> it's quite freaky when it does, also. It's quite unnerving. Particularly when I was expecting to go first. These guys are faster than I'm used to. The fat head is dead. Hooray. The monoops is the mono ops is asleep. Let's make it the sleep of the dead. If possible. Wow, it's tougher than I gave it credit for. But there are still three of us. It stared at Wayne, and Wayne didn't care. Probably some kind of status effect, huh? But we got squirrels for that! Alright, that guy died. I got a demon skull. What is a demon skull, please? Oh, it's an outfit. Helmet wrought from the skull of a powerful demon. Okay. Um, Pangorma, would you care for a demon skull? No, what does it change? Hang on. 102 flesh. Let's see where that goes after we put on the demon skull. It's 140, so it is an upgrade. Apparently that's what it upgrades. Unless there's some sort of secret effect that I'm not aware of. Which is always possible. What a strange looking skull this guy has. I haven't seen its like before. Hmm. It's like he got a bottle opener stuck out of the top of his skull. And is this also a body? The squiggly thing? Probably just a path, huh? Wow, there's a bunch of them all jammed together. I don't really see the necessity of fighting all those fatheads and mono opses. This is another body. Hi there. Blue, blue was the heaven above me and the earth green at my feet. Oh life, oh life, I kept saving and saying and the very words seemed sweet. Whoa, and now you're a blob. What woozily beated your fate? Ostensibly hydrate our youthful mutant gastropod. You made more sense a minute ago, but now you're a blob. Anything else to say on the matter? Hello? No? You're done with me? Apparently you're done with me. Okay, good to know. A will fountain. Let's go ahead and use it. Paper cup, yes. There we go. Did we drink it and will by increased by 25? Fantastic. It's really a shame that uh, Pungorma wasn't here for the first two of those, but... Oh, I'm standing on this guy's lap, but I can't go down his legs. That's a shame. Alright, so this is as far as that path goes. I guess we'll go this way, then. This place goes deep. Vegetable? Vegetable, okay. Vegetables growing out of corpses, I guess that sort of makes sense. Okay, okay, yeah, I'll deal with that in a moment, please, thank you. Duck blade was found. Excuse me, duck blade? Small chance of lowering the target's mightiness. Okay. Okay. Uh... Wayne, what's the difference with a duck blade? It's technically weaker than a bestial axe. Okay. But it's probably more powerful than a dirk, huh? Duck blade. Yes, it certainly is. Wow. It's not more powerful than joyous, but that's not too surprising. Okay, duck blade then. Duck blade! That is Molin, you're still using the parasite crystal. Right, right, right. We, we want you to continue doing that. Okay, so duck blade it is. Pangorma is now a monster. What are you? What are you? A tomb shrub. A tomb shrub. Okay, let's just try and attack spam this tomb shrub. Maybe we'll be fine. Pangorma attacks. Bio wave was unleashed. Mightiness was decreased for both Wayne and Desdemol. Desdemol. Um, Desdemol, I wish for you to do a health chant, please. And otherwise, we'll continue to beat on the shrub. Oh, it spawned a new shrub. This is a mini boss, isn't it? I should be taking this more seriously, shouldn't I? Okay, okay, noted. Biowave is unleashed again. Mightiness reduced, mightiness reduced, but Pungorma is still okay. Pungorma must have something that's preventing him from taking that sort of effect, huh? It seems like it. Wayne, I want you to unleash the dark flame. And Dead as Mold, I want you to back him up in doing so. Calibrate Wayne. Pungorma. Hmm. More Dark Flame, I think. Yes. Okay, and another shrub was spawned. The Dark Flame was unleashed. The little shrubs are still up. But can they survive it twice? They cannot. Fantastic. All according to plan. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Dead as just took 100 damage in one turn. That's real bad. Um, Wayne... I guess probably we're in just vegetable on that, right? 
50% of health is pretty good. So we'll have Dead Edmund heal himself. Wayne. Hmm. Wayne, I want you to space shuriken this guy before you can do anything about it. And Dedismold, please, please eat a vegetable. It's very important. Pangorma, just attack. Space shurikens, but the shrub was actually spawned before I could do it. Okay. Dedismold is better than he was. The biowave has been unleashed. Which is actually really bad. That's actually really bad. Okay. Okay. Uh, Wayne... Focus on the sub shrub, please. That is Moln. Health chant. That should help. And Pungorma. Sub shrub, I guess. Oh, but he's spawning so many of them. We can't keep up like this. The health chant should help. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. The biowave is unleashed again. Wayne's mightiness takes the hit again. Everybody's mightiness is down. That's not good. That is not good. We need to we need to defeat this guy before he gets to be more of a problem. That is Mole more health chant. Pungorma. Pungorma. Just attack. Just attack. Attack the tomb shrub. It's spawning so many, so many more of itself. It's a real issue. But Dead Mole can keep this up for a while. Oh, but that hurts so much. And the, t and the shrubs are attacking as well. Of course they are. Okay, okay. Wayne, I want for you to feed a juice box to Pungorma. Dead is Moln. Dead is Moln. Calibrate Pungorma. Pungorma just attacked the tomb, tomb shrub for now. I'm hoping to get the fire going again real shortly here. Okay, Pungorma is strong. Pungorma has will. The tomb shrub is unleashing the biowave yet again. It hurts. It hurts. Oh, do not kill Pungorma. Do not kill Pungorma. I know you wish to, but please do not. Okay, attack Tomb Shrub. That is Moln. I want you to health chant. Pungorma, I want you to unleash the Dark Flame. Please kill everything. Please kill everything. Good. Good. That's exactly what I wanted. I wanted you to wipe out all the Sub Shrubs as best you could. Health chant. Good health chant. Wonderful, wondrous health chant. The bio wave, we're okay, we're all right. It hurts, it's bad, but it's it's okay. Pangorma's on the edge of death, as always. We really need to wipe out this tomb shrub, I tell you what. Des that is one, keep it up with the health chants. Keep it up. Pangorma, finish him. Oh, he's slain. Thank you, Wayne. Thank you for finishing the job. Oh, wow, that was rough. 5,000 bucks found. Vegetable, 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 vegetable. That tracks. Honestly, that tracks. Can I make it back to the couch? <laughs> Where was the couch? Was it even... It's not down here. It was up top, in the top left corner of the upper chamber. Let's just keep moving. It'll be fine. It's probably fine. We got a couple juice boxes left. Distribute them out. That's good. That's good. Vegetables for everybody. Vegetables for all. Okay. Okay. Ignore ignore that guy. He will not trouble you. <sighs> oh. That was just to make it over here. There's another passageway. Okay, we, we went longer than I intended to because I didn't want to halfway do that dungeon and then end the episode. But maybe I should have done that because we're not done yet. There's more to go. <sighs> but I'm going to save right here. Okay, cool. Well, thank you for watching. <laughs> This is such a weird game, but I love it. Um, next time, we're going to go into the other half of this dungeon, and it's probably going to be real brutal, but that's okay. That's okay. We'll deal with it. We got three of us, and we got Pungorma. Pungorma's a monster. Pungorma's a beast. Pungorma will lead the way. Well, no, he won't. He'll follow up directly behind Dedismon, and it'll be really uncomfortable the whole time, but he'll still be a beast back there, so it's great. Anyway, I'll see you next time.